Hey, it's David. Welcome back to Cross Fitness, helping men and women get in the best spiritual shape of their life one workout at a time. So we're continuing our series this week on thoughts about God and how I personally am just sharing how I am navigating my way through the current cultural crisis in America as a Christian person. And so uh, strategy number one was silence the voices. Strategy number two was charge up in the secret place. And today, strategy number three, I'm saying connect with the local church. Connect with the local church. Listen, I am a raving fan of the local church. I believe it's one of the best things that ever happened. You know, it's a picture between Christ and the church, his love for his bride, the capital C church. And those are expressed in local, you know, streams of God's family in the local church. And, you know, I just, this is what I'm doing. I'm trying to engage and, and participate in the local church. You know, I love my pastor, Ron Kerdoff. You know, he's a voice of, of reason and wisdom and trustworthy and reliable to me, proven over a long period of time. You know, we can get on YouTube and we can podcast a bunch of people and that's great and I do that. But you know, my, my, my favorite and most trusted pastoral authority is my pastor, my senior pastor, whose authority that I'm under, he's like an umbrella in a hailstorm to me. That's the power of spiritual authority. We need to get undercover. John Bevere wrote a book like uh, with that title, Undercover. You need to read it, get that book. Um, and, you know, the local church is where I have access to, you know, spiritual authority. I, there's pastoral team members that I can talk to. Um, there's small groups I can be a part of. I'm telling you, we need to check our circle. We need to find our tribe of people who are like-minded, who, you know, birds of a feather flock together. And this is a good thing in this way. They are such a help, a shelter in the time of trouble to have people who, you know, have the same knowledge base as you, a same faith base as you, that, that know you and love you and don't need to go to a bar like Cheers and where everybody knows your name, Norm, you know, all that. That's that's fine. It was, a, it was a cool TV show and all of that. But you know what? The local church is better than the bar. I'm telling you, because these people have their heads screwed on right. You know, we all have problems. We all have issues. I'm not saying we're perfect. There's no halos in the room. I get that. But what I'm saying is we're focused in, in our common pursuit of the Lord Jesus Christ. We respect the word of God as being, uh, you know, as being true and reliable and uh, trustworthy. And so that's what I love about the local church. It has a statement of faith. It has people with names on that I can text, I can call, I can make appointments with, I can sit down and have coffee or eat chicken at Chick-fil-A with. I love the local church. And this is one of my big um, weapons in my arsenal to try to maintain sanity and move forward in my faith, fitness, family, and finances. Um, in a cultural context that is in crisis. Uh, and uh, so that, I'm just submitting that to you, just sharing my life with you in this series. Maybe you'll find that helpful. But I do encourage you to get involved in a local church, get in a, get into a community group, uh, get serving on some type of team, um, and, and just find, the, find your purpose and fulfill your purpose through your obedient submission to the Lord and submitting those talents back to him for his glory. And, and I tell you, there's, there's a lot of grace in that. There's a lot of contentment in that. There's a lot of satisfaction and fulfillment in that. And that's what we need. We need to get those, that good stuff coming into our body to begin to displace and replace a lot of the, you know, the um, unpleasant things that are going on in our world nationally and internationally, okay? All right, so I hope that encourages you. For now, I'm David, your virtual mentor, reminding you that I'm always for you, never against you. Talk to you in the next video.